Hello everyone, it's the Shades here, and welcome again to Shades of Soapbox. Time to get serious again, but don't worry, I'm not gonna get super serious, I'm not taking the shades off for this one, this one's not that level of rage, but time for me to call out something I've been seeing a lot happening lately, and quite, or, it's actually been happening for quite a few, quite a number of years now. It's this idea that you can blame your problems on everything else. So recently, as you guys know, Roseanne Barr recently got her show canceled after making a very racist tweet. That in and of itself is really no surprise. Anyone who's followed Roseanne Barr for years could probably tell you that she's always kind of been this way. Quite frankly, I'm surprised this didn't happen sooner. I'm amazed her show even got back on the air at all, to be honest. It's her excuse, her reasoning for the tweet that quite frankly had to make me, had, had turned around and made me laugh my ass off. According to a tweet she made, apparently she had made the original tweet while she was on Ambien. Folks, this excuse needs to die a slow, painful death. Very few, if any, drugs will honestly make you an asshole. They may make you a little crazy, may make a little loopy, but they will not make you a racist, period. No drug on earth is going to make you a racist, bigoted jerk. All right, it's the same as people who say, oh, I was drunk, that's why I said those racist comments. No, you were already a racist. The alcohol just brought it out of you. Seriously, I have been drunk. And I mean talking full on wasted. And the most that ever happened to me was I was stumbling around a little bit, barely able to hold myself up. That much can happen while you're drunk. I still was as nice, courteous, and friendly as ever. Don't get me wrong. I know that's not going to apply to everyone, everyone acts differently, but again, 9 times out of 10, actually more like 9.5 times out of 10, if you say something racist or bigoted or just completely assholish while you're drunk, odds are good you were already that way to begin with, the alcohol just kind of brought it out to the surface. Remember, alcohol brings out your inhibitions, it, it loosens your inhibitions, makes you a little more willing to do stuff you normally wouldn't do because you know it's wrong. I don't have such inhibitions. I'm actually in pretty good control of myself. I have no need to say anything like that. I don't have those kind of thoughts in my head because I realize those are not kind of thoughts you should have. So even when I'm completely drunk off my ass, I honestly have never had to say anything like that. And the same goes for most other drugs. Sure, there are drugs out there that could change your behavior a little bit, but it doesn't make you a racist or a bigot or a jerk. This truly needs to stop being an excuse. We are better than this, people. Simply put, if you're saying racist stuff on Twitter, just admit that you're a racist and be done with it because nobody's gonna buy your bullshit, all right? Nobody is going to buy your bullshit. I sure as hell don't. If you say something racist on social media or on the news or on any television show, guess what? I've already labeled you a racist. You're not getting out of it. You cannot make an excuse for your actions. It's not that hard to not say something like that. If you said it, you thought it, and you accepted that thought. So no, you're not getting out of it. You're not gonna make an excuse for this. You're a racist. Just accept it. You can fix it, you can change yourself, but at that moment, you said it, so that is what you are. Folks, being a decent person is not that hard. It really isn't. True fact. Yes, when I see someone that's not like me down the street, if I see a black person, if I see a, 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 a Latino or an Asian, I won't lie. I have the immediate thought in my head of the stereotypes. It's an instinct, and I hate it. I hate every aspect of it. But here's the thing. I do not act on those stereotypes. I immediately tell myself, that's not them. That's just what I've been told is them. But I know that can't be true. I fight the stereotypes that exist in my head. I fight those instincts because I know better. And I'm going to tell you what. I've met some people of different races, genders, ethnicities, ethnicities and uh, sexual preferences that I honestly think are really awesome people. You know, it's not hard. You don't have to make excuses for being for being racist or bigoted. You just have to fix that fact. Learn to accept that they're not that those other people are not like you. But that doesn't make them lesser than you, nor does it make you better than them. We are all the same. We all bleed red. Cut on my arm so I can show this. Yeah. We all bleed red. That's all it should be. We are human. There is only one race. The human race. On my social media, I started a hashtag a while back that I still believe in to this day. Hashtag united, not divided. And I want to share that because that is the mindset we should be having going forward. We are united as human beings trying to live our lives. We should not need to make excuses for shit like that because we shouldn't be saying it in the first place. Getting back to the main topic here. Don't use drugs and alcohol as your excuse for being an asshole. Accept the fact that you're just an asshole. It's as simple as that. 
We all make mistakes. We all say shit we shouldn't say. Hell, I've said more than my fair stare of stupid shit. You know what happens? I usually get a book upside my head by my wife because it helps me know better. But even then, I've never said anything that stupid. I've said some stupid shit, but I know where the line is. And you should too. Anyway, that's going to do it for me here, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to post down in the comments below what you think about this whole situation. What do you think... Racist tweets should be excused because of drugs or alcohol. If you have any suggestions for topics and soapboxes you'd like for me to talk about, post them down in the comments down below as well. I'll take a look at them. Also, shout out to my patron, Solar Star, for your continued support, and Rakdai for your continued donations. Both of you guys are much appreciated as always. In the meantime, that's going to do it for today's soapbox. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. On the shades, and we'll see you guys next time. Rock on!